Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the liquify command to interactively distort an image and give the appearance of liquefying your image. You can liquify a layer by selecting the layer to which you want to apply the effect and then by selecting filter, distort, and liquify from the menu bar. Now this will launch the liquify dialog box that we see here where you can make the distortions to the selected layers content. At the right side of the liquify dialog box over here you're going to need to make adjustments of course to your brush size. You can enter a value here or you can click the right pointing arrow and use the slider if you wish. You can also adjust the brush pressure as well as what's called the turbulent jitter which affects the smoothness of the turbulence. The higher the value the smoother it is. After doing that then you go to the left hand side of the dialog box and choose from the various tools that you have available right here. First up at the very top we have what's called the warp tool and the warp tool pushes pixels forward as you drag. So we click and drag like that. Now at any point you can go over here and click the revert button which will revert the image back to its original state. Next up we have the turbulence tool that smoothly scrambles pixels and can be used to create effects such as fire and clouds. We'll look at that in just a moment. After that, you use the twirl clockwise tool to spin the pixels that you click and drag over with your brush in a clockwise direction. You just click, you can hold the brush like that, or you can click and drag either way, and it will twirl those pixels in a clockwise fashion. I think it's kind of fun if you just hold it down and watch it twirl those pixels. Now underneath that you have the same tool only counterclockwise. just does the opposite. Now after that we have what's called the pucker tool. And you use the pucker tool to pull the sides of the brush stroke inward towards the center of the brush stroke. So you click and the pixels are sort of dragged in towards the center of that brush stroke. A little more subtle of an effect. You use what's called the bloat tool underneath that to push the pixels from the center of the brush towards the outer edge of the brush. Like that. Let's go ahead and click revert again. You use the Shift Pixels tool to move the pixels in a perpendicular direction from the direction that you drag the brush stroke. So for example, if you drag the brush down, the pixels will be pulled from left to right as you drag downward. Drag downward. Now as you drag upward, the pixels will be pulled from right to left like that. Now you can also hold down the ALT key while dragging to reverse the direction from which the pixels will be pulled. We'll click revert again. The reflection tool right here drags a reversed image of the pixels that you select at a 90 degree angle to the motion of your brush. Kind of a fun effect. Now if you hold down the ALT key you can reverse the direction of the reflection. We'll go ahead and click revert. You use the reconstruct tool to reconstruct areas of the image that you've distorted. So let's go ahead, let's click this one and we'll twirl our pixels. And let's say you don't really like that but you've made many 
adjustments to this image and you don't want to revert the entire image back well then you can come back over here you can then click on the reconstruct tool you just click on those pixels and it will revert those pixels back to their original state while leaving the rest of the image intact with the other changes that you've made to it. Now note that once you do click the OK button over here to accept the image distortions you cannot use this tool at a later time to reconstruct previously made distortions. As we pointed out before you can click the revert button at the right and all of the changes that you made in the current session will be reversed and the image will be restored. But when you're finished applying the changes to the image, you just click OK to apply the liquefaction to the selected image layer. Now let's look at the turbulence tool and look at an example of what you can do with that. We'll select a different image here and we'll go to filter, distort, and liquefy. In this case we're using a type layer and Elements tells us that the type layer must be simplified before proceeding. Its text will no longer be editable and we're going to say OK to simplify it. We're going to select our turbulence tool. We're going to reduce our brush size because that's pretty large and then we're going to come over here and click into our image and pull up and you'll see the effect that you make. So you can really have a lot of fun with the liquify command. It can be used for a lot of different effects in your images and again you can have a lot of fun with it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.